with enzymes, you need to know the two different models. So there's flowchart diagrams are really good models in biology to use and show reactions like how enzymes work. Models of enzyme substrate interactions, there's two models that you need to know for biology. There's the lock and key. Now that's an older model. And as you can see here, the enzyme shown in pinky purple, and there's a substrate with yellow and blue. And they are exactly the same shape as the enzyme's active site. As you can see here, we've got a product at the end. Now the induced fit or more recent theory and updated model um, actually is slightly different. The enzyme here has a specific shape as, as normal. However, it's not the same shape as these substrates. As the substrates come and bind, they're actually, the enzyme moves around the substrates to fit the substrates um, in a better fit. And then it can work on the substrate to create a product. So they're both very similar models, but you do need to know the names of both of them. The lock and key model, let's focus on that one to begin with. So at first the lock and key model was proposed. It was thought that the active site is rigid and doesn't move. The small substrate molecule is reciprocally shaped and fits into the active site like a lock fits a key. In this model, the lock is the enzyme and the key is the substrate. Only the correctly sized key or substrate fits into the keyhole or active site of the lock, which is the enzyme. Smaller keys, larger keys, or incorrectly positioned teeth on keys, or which is incorrectly shape or size substrate molecules, do not fit into the lock, the enzyme. Only the correctly shaped key opens a particular lock. Once this enzyme substrate complex is formed, the close proximity of the molecules allows the reaction to be rapidly catalyzed and the products of the reaction are released. Not all experimental evidence could be adequately explained with this model. So now there's a new theory. It's called the induced fit theory. And as you can see here, we have an enzyme. The active site is not complementary to the substrate. The amended induced fit theory assumes that the substrate plays a role in determining the final shape of the enzyme and that the enzyme is partially flexible. You can see here that the enzyme has shaped around the substrate. Evidence suggests that the binding of a substrate to the active site of an enzyme induces the enzyme to alter its shape slightly to fit more tightly around the substrate. This explains why certain compounds can bind to the enzyme but do not react because the enzyme has been distorted too much. So other molecules may be too small to induce the proper alignment and therefore cannot react. Only the proper substrate or substrates with similar active site, similar shape is capable of inducing the proper alignment of the active site. This here is a fantastic model that you can use for your end examination. It shows here both the lock and key and induce fit. For your assessment tasks, you need to know both of them. So up the top here, we have a lock and key, which has a specific active site shape to fit the substrates. And it goes to make the enzyme substrate complex. And the enzyme remains unchanged throughout the whole reaction. With the induced fit, you can see here that the enzyme has a specific shape, but it's not complementary to the substrates. The substrates come, bind, and actually move into the groove of the enzyme. And then the enzyme substrate complex forms, holds it, and then makes the product. When the product is released, the enzyme does return to its normal shape. Just this simple representation will do for your final examination in answering the questions. Thank you. That concludes this video.